Yo, what is up, Sexy Beast? Crazy Rabbit here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys the double pack bunched M1 in Raven the Redwoods on scene 50, so let's go ahead and get this shit started. So previously, I have shown you guys just the single pack bunched version of this, and I thought since now that I can double pack bunch, I might as well show you guys the double pack bunch version. And I think for the rest of the series in Infinite Warfare Zombies, I think I'm gonna show you guys both the single pack bunch version and the double pack bunch version in the same video. Really not gonna do it for this one because I already have a video about the single pack punched one. But for the rest of the weapons, I think that's what I'm gonna do. If you guys like to see that, just let me know in the comments. So when you actually upgrade the M1, it turns into the T-Money, and then when you double pack punch it, it turns into the Organ Donor. And I really could not see any difference between the single pack punched version and the double pack punched version. Like, there might have been like a bullet or two difference, so like, I could have shot five bullets with the single pack punched version, and then a zombie goes down. And then with the double pack punched version, I shoot like three or four, and then a zombie goes down. It could be something like minimal like that, but I really don't think when you double pack punch it, it gets that much stronger, if it gets stronger whatsoever. Like, I would just love to see some stats on what exactly happens when you double pack punch, because it really doesn't seem like anything changes whatsoever. And at one point during this footage, I actually used a Fate and Fortune card, I don't remember what it's called, but it basically doubles your bullet damage, and I still couldn't tell the difference. It still felt like I was just using the single pack punch version. And I think in total, I got around 30 to 40 kills somewhere in that general area. The M1 does carry a lot of ammo, and it is actually pretty strong, so that seems about right for what you get. But I mean, if you give me this much ammo, like in a Black Ops 2 or 3 map, I feel like I could get so many more kills with like an average gun. I just feel like in Infinite Warfare Zombies, their guns are very, very weak, or their zombies are very, very powerful, because once you really start to get up there to like the 30s, all the guns just like sort of poop out. I like to compare these weapons to the Black Ops 1 weapons because they're all really, really weak, and it just doesn't seem like you can take them to high rounds. So I would just love to see, like, all the stats for every single gun in Zombies, because they might have changed it from multiplayer to Zombies, because I would like to know what happens when you double pack punch. Maybe they just give you a new name, because with the M1, I didn't get any more ammo or anything. It doesn't seem like it got stronger, it doesn't seem like it got faster. I really don't know what happens when you double pack punch. Maybe it just gets, like, an itty bitty bit more stronger, because I really don't think I would have gotten that many kills if I didn't use that Fate and Fortune card. So I'm very curious to know, what is your guys' favorite weapon in Infinite Warfare Zombies? Can either just be strictly from Raven the Redwoods, or it could be from Zombies in Spaceland? I want to know. So if you guys could, please leave a like, and subscribe if you have not already. Peace.